Hello everyone. In this Stack Radio interview, I have a pleasure to welcome a talented musician and songwriter, Lester Franco. Him and his band, Her Majesty's Secret Service, play music which combines a variety of styles, including rock and blues. Lester Franco, welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so happy that you are uh, with us. Uh, and it is a great pleasure to meet you. How are you today? Um, I'm all right. Thank you. Fantastic. And ready <laughs> How about you? I am good. I am good. good. Very, very happy to, to host you. Uh, Lester, you are originally from Mexico. How long have you been living in London? I've uh, been here for almost two years now. Fantastic. And did you get used to, to the weather by now? <laughs> uh, well, I actually, I, I, love, I love the weather, the English weather. Um, and since I'm Mexican, I'm used to the sun and uh -huh. everything. So I love, I love the darkness of England. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm sure it can be also very inspiring. It is. <laughs> it is. If you listen to my lyrics, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Lester, when I was listening to your albums, I was impressed with the way you combine blues and rock together. Uh, please tell me, who are you inspired by? Um, my musical influences would be uh, uh, Tom Waits, Nick Cave, mm -hmm. The Rolling Stones, Mm -hmm. um, Leonard Cohen, mm -hmm. yes, um, uh, John Martin. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, is it true that uh, as a little child you were pretending to be John Lennon? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I actually yes many times. I <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I used to dress up and go. Oh. <laughs> go, go <laughs> yeah. In Mexico, so wonderful, Lester. Um, your uh, debut album, The Legba Sessions, uh, was recorded um, entirely in your uh, home studio uh, in 2013. Uh, was it in Mexico? Yes, indeed. Yes, it, it took um, almost two years. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I did everything by myself and in, in, in my home studio in Mexico. Um, yes, and <laughs> it was quite a, a challenge. Mm. Oh, was it? Yes. How is it to <laughs> actually work in a studio which is based in your home? Um, what challenges did you did you have to oh, overcome? Oh God! Well, well, it's um, basically just going insane and not knowing uh, when to stop mm -hmm. because um, uh, you know you have that. Um, uh, you don't have a time limit. You don't have a anything that, uh, you know, you have, that's why it took so long. Mm -hmm. And it was so hard because you don't know when to stop. Yes. Like, and and you have so many songs coming out and so many arrangements. And yes, I felt like Brian Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> he did pet sounds that he didn't know when to stop. And <laughs> so, um Yes, from from after I released that album, I said I don't want to, uh, I, uh, like, to be in charge of everything, mm -hmm. um, I, I, because you know you need some guidance and someone to tell you when to stop when it's Absolutely. enough. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, you see, I thought that maybe your challenges will be a lack of encouragement and that you would need to be uh, encouraged to to work uh, on everyday basis. But it looks as if you were just uh, ready to record, record and record. Well, th that's, th that's the other thing. That's why it took so long as well. <laughs> because, <laughs> exactly, because you're not like... Um, Right, I have uh, I have to do this now. Mm -hmm. No, you're just like, oh well, I can do it tomorrow of or course. in two <laughs> days or three. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how about uh, members of your t uh, of your band? Uh, did they uh, live nearby? Uh, did they move into your house for this time? Mm -hmm. No, I actually uh, f uh, well, I I didn't have a band when I recorded that album. Okay. Uh, so I got uh, musicians, uh, friends of mine, and I hired some musicians to come and play. Mm -hmm. 
in the songs. Okay. Um, so yeah, the band I put it together after I released that album. Okay, that's yeah. that's fantastic. So did you did you meet uh, straight after, or how long did it take you to 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 find uh, the uh, the members of your band? Uh, well, I, uh, I I had a job at that time. I was uh, working for Bloomberg TV. I was the engineer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, a, a girl that I that I met there, she was a, a singer, okay. and she uh, she introduced me to my musical director in Mexico, mm -hmm. and he basically he's, he's like a musical soulmate. Okay. <laughs> so he put he put together the band because he 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 knows exactly what to do uh, and everything. So he put a ba a perfect band together that I had, mm -hmm. on, you know, the, um, throughout the, those years in Mexico. So um, yeah, it didn't take long. <laughs> Fantastic. To, to 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 find the perfect musicians, but uh, of course that was in Mexico. Right um, now, my band in 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 the in um, here in the UK, it's you know it took me a while. It took me about four months to actually find the right musicians. Okay, is it so, is four yeah. months a long time? I I would think that rather that it was quite quick actually. Uh, well, when you're impatient as I am, <laughs> <laughs> that's a long. That's a long time. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. And um, so, uh, how mem many members of uh, of your uh, band are there? Uh, it's uh, five, five members. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and uh, are they all um, uh, from uh, from the UK, or uh, or did you have a chance to uh, possibly uh, to liaise with someone who you originally uh, played with? No, I, uh, actually, the only um, uh, the only one who's British is the sax player. Okay, uh, but the drummer is American. Uh, the Uh, lead guitarist is uh, uh, Brazilian, mm -hmm. and yeah. So, that <laughs> do, do you think do you think that this mix of nationalities helps uh, to enhance the music and uh, and possibly incorporate different styles and ideas? Do, do you of do you course. see that? Do, mm -hmm. is it, it is. It's it's. You can. Um, I, I I can I can see it now in the new songs. Mm -hmm. uh, that that we're uh, recording at the moment and that we're um, actually going to start playing live mm -hmm. now. Uh, the, 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 you can you can tell that it's um, you, it's 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 just a a perfect mix of of nationalities and styles, Fun. which is what I love about. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. Every, you know, my band now. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Lester, uh, uh, you mentioned that uh, you write all the lyrics. Um, and uh, please tell me, uh, how, uh, what would you say? How, uh, how much the lyrics reflect uh, this, who you are? Um, well, I... Actually, just listen to the lyrics. I, I try, I try to say as much as I can in a three, four minute song. Mm -hmm. um, but I, um, when I started uh, this project, it's mine. Uh, I decided to be completely honest about who I am and mm -hmm. uh, what I've done and 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 all this and like um, uh, the the book that I'm writing as well and everything I'm I'm trying to be as honest and not mm -hmm. hide anything. Mm -hmm. Um so basically it's just listen to the lyrics and mm -hmm. yeah. And tell me which <laughs> song um actually would you say that um you think is closest to your heart and describes you best? Oh, um it's a very good question actually. Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, from my, well, actually, the B side from my um, uh, from my my latest single, mm -hmm. not not toxic because that's not a song of mine. <laughs> okay. But 
Help. Help is um, is probably the most honest song mm-hmm. that um, that I've that I've written, and that one in Blue Rain Blues, I think uh, mm-hmm. the, those are the the, the closest um, to my heart, I guess. Okay. I totally agree that lyrics are very important. Uh, could you just tell me uh, whether you also compose uh, your uh, songs? Yes, I I, I I do that. And and well, in this case, Help was actually uh, produced by uh, Boss uh, Borer, who's the musical director for Morrissey. I had the pleasure of meeting him, and um, it was a connection. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, we made this beautiful song together. Uh, I had just like a piano and and the vocals, and he basically did the the um, the, the orchestration and everything on this song. Okay. Uh, so yes, I mean I, I uh, like I said before, I try right now to work with other people mm-hmm. because I go insane and don't know when to stop. And. <laughs> um. Another question I have uh, for you is that um, blues uh, is uh, definitely uh, dominating some some uh, of your uh, songs, and uh, how is it that other songs are, uh, in my view, uh, totally different and so um, I would almost say heavy rock uh, orientated. Um, Is it because uh, you write the songs when you are in a different mood? What, what, uh, how, how you go about creating these two different uh, uh, genres? Well, it's a, that's a problem I've always had. That um, I've, I've never liked to classify genres okay. um, in anything. So it's a, if if a song. Um, if I start writing a song, I don't classify it, and that's the problem that I've always mm-hmm, had mm-hmm. with uh, uh, with venues. For example, blues venues um, yes. don't want me because I'm not straight blues. Rock venues don't want me because I'm not straight blue, uh, rock. Okay. Jazz venues don't want me because I'm not straight jazz. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So um, the thing is, I if, if I write a song, I I, I just go with it and i i don't like to classify that mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Y- you know something as a genre it's just me in that moment with the music that i'm feeling in of that course. moment and uh, i think this is absolutely to to your advantage because um, not everything needs to be <laughs> black and white in uh, in uh, in life uh, lester you've mentioned that uh, you are currently writing a book uh, what uh, kind of book is it um b- well it's um, a g- kind of autobiographical but um It's not a novel. It's it's a, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Poetry <laughs> and prose and everything, uh-huh. it, uh, stories, experiences. Wonderful. Uh, but the the idea is to um, it's actually uh, about um, how we all have a an imaginary friend. Mm-hmm. Um, um, we like we all do, <laughs> even um, at any age. So um, it's it's about um, how uh, we cope with our loneliness. Mm. How um, uh, yeah. So it's about how you don't give your heart completely uh, to mm. someone mm. because you already have that backup, yes. that uh, imaginary friend, I guess, or um, um, yeah, support. So mm-hmm. it's basically that. Then, just as my songs, they're a bit of it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you so, know, yes. 
<laughs> it is interesting that you uh, actually uh, are mentioning the issue of loneliness, uh, for example, because um, as you know, uh, this year, uh, uh, especially in uh, the UK, we talk a lot about well-being and uh, about how to cope with loneliness, how to cope with anxiety. And uh, uh, as a musician, uh, do you have to cope with anxiety problems, for example? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Very, mm, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and what is the main reason? Do you think the stress which um, uh, which is created by uh, being constantly on, on the move and uh, what, what is it? Um, it's it's uh, the stress of actually uh, putting everything, everything uh, about you, about yourself, your mm -hmm. um, uh, you, uh, the way you feel, uh, yes. the way you think, into something, into a song or uh, any creative process. Mm -hmm. uh, any, so being creative is, is actually uh, has turned out to be more difficult for me. You know, sometimes it, it's um, it's 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 a lot to to handle. I guess. Of so course. it's that anxiety that. Um, you write a song for someone, mm -hmm. for example, and um, it, it, it's 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 something it, it's such an intimate mm. thing, such an intimate process, and and that honesty and everything that you put into it, mm. that um, it's you know it's uh, some people don't know how to um, how to appreciate that. Yes, you know what I mean. So. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> so how how easy is it then to share um, uh, to share what you feel deeply with others? Uh, how easy is easy is it? For me, actually, it's very easy mm -hmm. to to share how I feel. What's not easy is the way um, uh, that it's 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 received. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, by uh, so yeah. That when you're uh, honest, direct, and everything uh, like that, mm. uh, you expect uh, like a I don't know, uh, at least a chuckle, yes, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, some sort of appreciation mm. of that. So that's what it. That's when anxiety really comes into play. We would love to hear you uh, more. And tell me, do you do you plan any uh, any tours, any concerts in the near future? Yes, I'm actually doing my first UK tour. Wonderful. Uh, in Oct uh, October and November. So um, just uh, stay tuned for um, yeah, for the venues that I'll be. Fantastic. Will they be available on your uh, website? Yes, of course. You can. Um, you're going to be able to see everything, uh, my plans and everything, on my website and my social media. Fantastic. So, everyone, please uh, look for uh, Lester Franco. And uh, could you please remind us uh, the website? Yes, the address? website is lesterfranco.com, and uh, the social media is Lester Franco Music, uh, like Facebook and my. Uh, my Twitter is I am Lester Franco, but mm -hmm. yeah, the we the website is lesterfranco.com. Lester, I think uh, slowly we will be finishing our interview. Uh, I must uh, say that it's been a, an absolute pleasure uh, to host you here, and uh, we are going to listen to now a song which you recently released, which is your uh, wonderful. Redition of Toxic. So, oh, please do. Fantastic. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.